Okay guys, so in this video tutorial, it's Fozzy13 from the Tech Guys 101 here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G on 3.1.2 firmware, which is the newest release from Apple, and I will not be using Red Snow, um, today I'll be using Black Rain with a 1 instead of an I. Um, so, first thing you do is don't update to 3.1.2 yet. Leave it on 3.0 or 3.1.1 for now. And then go to the link in the first link in the description to get blackgrain.exe. Fill in this code over here. Download. And wait the 25 seconds and then download it. I already got it downloaded right here. So now go to um, click open containing folder you only need to do this for vistas and if you have windows 7 right click and click run as administrator and then click run and there's one button here that says make it rain so before we start that up that. go into itunes and make sure if it says down, um, you have a later version of iPod firmware or whatever, um, click download only, not download and install, or click cancel while it's trying to update it, um, and only let it download. So now that you've got it downloaded, you can click shift restore. Oh, and make sure you backed up all your stuff on your iPod. So then you can click shift restore. Um, go to HPC. Um, so, no, not um, C drive, go to um, actually users and then your user account and go to properties, click hidden and apply. Oh no, that's not it. Advanced. how to get it so that you can view um, let's try going backslash app data there you go and then go into roaming um, Apple computer even though if you're on Windows iTunes iPod software updates or iPhone and it should be right there then click open and then this will erase and restore your iPod so that the show will go by faster. Click restore, extraction software, etc. etc. I'll be back when this is done. Okay, guys, so when it's done, you should get something like this, and it'll take 10 seconds to be dismissed. And then you'll go back to here, and your iPod should have an Apple logo and a loading or status bar on the bottom, mm -hmm. and that should be done in a few seconds. It took about an hour, which is kind of strange, to update to 3.1.2, so I have no idea. Not right now. Do that later. Because, um, if you, some of you guys know, I redid my computer, or I got a new computer, so yeah. Now. Let's double check that I am on 3.1.2. Yep, software version 3.1.2. And here's compacts of what I was just talking to him earlier. <laughs> so that's him right there. Yeah, so let's go back to where you say black rain, right click that and click run it as administrator, click run. <laughs> he says anyone good wants to one verse one him on COD4 shipment and hardcore, so if you guys want to do that, um, his gamer tag is STD Fozzy GTR. And that's STD Fozzy GTR. 
So now you should see my iPod on camera anytime soon. So let's close this out and go to Black Rain and click Make It Rain. That should say Entering Recovery Mode, and on your iPod Touch, it should enter Recovery Mode. And it has the iTunes and the USB cable, little arrow. And now it should change to this picture of some guy that's probably the guy that made um, Black Rain and some iPhones. And on the computer, it says that your jailbreak is done once the phone reboots. If this was blah 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 blah, blah click OK. Okay, guys, so um, <coughs> this is a untethered jailbreak, so that means if you turn off your iPod or it dies, then your jailbreak will be gone, and then you gotta plug back to your computer and push the black rain button, make it rain to jailbreak it again. And now it's gonna sync, sync in progress again. Shut the hell up. Don't wanna do that right now. And uh, now let's go ahead and unlock my iPhone. Or iPod Touch, sorry. Alrighty, so now it's gone back to its original screen. And somehow I still have all my apps in here. Whatever. Well then. So you should have an app in here called Black Rain. You should not have Cydia yet. So you can click Black Rain. And now you can install City Rock, or Icy, and please make sure you only install one of them at a time, or you will encounter major problems. Let's click City. This is the only one I really want. And on the top right, it also says install. Click install. Downloading City. And at any time, you can uninstall Black Rain down there at the bottom. This is only if you want to use. Red Snow, so you have a tether jailbreak, so you can turn off your iPod or iPhone. Alrighty, now I can find aha Cydia right there. Cydia is installed, and now you guys can go um, start up Cydia. Says be organizing, and then you gotta reopen it. Then you guys can reinstall everything that you had in your city before, like window board, etc., your themes, fonts. That's just what happens with when you jailbreak. You lose all your jailbreak stuff. Oh, so city is done. Um, and well, hopefully it doesn't work. Whatever. You guys can look that up yourself. Well, as long as open up City for good, and you get the loading data like you would have before, and then you can close out Black Rain on your PC now. And tada! Uh, let's see if it comes with all your packages already installed. I'm not sure. It would. And well, the iPod Touch is not noticeably any faster at all with the new jailbreak. From 2.2.1 to 3.0, it was super faster. And here we go. Let's click complete upgrade. And that will update everything that. Ch you need to be updated. Disk dev commands, library, open SL, SQL light, confirm. And it should download and install everything you need to work Cydia for the first time.